Hey guys, Dave, NC Picker, Flipper here. About to set up my camera, but I ran into this little dilemma. Hazel, you were in my chair, young kitty. <laughs> so I gotta move her first. Oh, look at look at how sad she is, though. She's like, I'm not even gonna open my eyes. Hazel. Oh. Alright, I'll just move this chair and use a different one, Hazel. Oh, she jumped off anyways. Okay, we're fine. Hello, everyone. I'm back. I'm alive. And I'm significantly less tired than I was yesterday. Uh, if you watched yesterday's video, I was all over the place. I was like, you guys confirmed I was not jet lagged because it's not possible to be jet lagged if you don't go on a jet. But I was very tired. And, you know, I was maybe saying I lived in North Carolina when clearly I don't live in North Carolina right now. I used to live in North Carolina, but I've moved recently. Come on, that's a, an honest mistake. Anyone could make it. So it is Tuesday night. I actually forgot I had to record tonight. I was uh, just sitting inside, hanging out, not being productive, to be honest. And I was like, what do I feel like I have to do something tonight? And then I realized that I usually release a video on Wednesday, and I haven't recorded one yet. And so that's why we're here. We're here to record a video. I've got to pull orders. I got a ton. Remember that whole week? <laughs> last week, the whole week, I sold like 12 things. Well, I have 15 sales in the last 24 hours. So, because I shipped like midday yesterday. Also, I did something very... Risky yesterday, you guys saved me. So thank you very much. So this knife, hold on, I'll show you. This knife here, I even took it out of my video. This knife is a SOG knife. I got it at a yard sale in Tennessee, and there's a button on it. You push a button, and hold on, I locked it. Push a button, pops open. That's an automatic knife, apparently. It says Auto Mini, SOG Tech Auto Mini. Sold immediately for like $55. So I was really excited about this. Uh, because I paid, I think, five for it. Well, you guys let me know that it's actually against eBay policy to sell an auto knife on eBay. Although, it let me list it, and it sold. It sold really quick. Maybe it was too quick for them to notice. So, I was kind of freaking out yesterday trying to figure out what to do. Because I sold the thing, and I actually shipped it. And then I saw your guys' response to the video, and I was like, oh no, I already packed that up and shipped it and everything else. Well, I went to the order in my eBay, and there was still an option to cancel the order even though I had already printed the label and packaged it. So I hit cancel order, it let me refund the customer, I emailed the customer, and I said, hey, sorry I had to cancel your order, I did not know this, but selling automatic knives is against eBay's policy, so I have to cancel your order. Now if you go look at yesterday's comments, there were several people who wrote me and said they had sold an automatic knife, and their account got banned after they had shipped it, right, or suspended. And I, the last thing I want is to have a suspended eBay account when I do so much eBay selling. That would be very horrible. So to me, it didn't feel like it was worth the risk. I went ahead and canceled it and did a refund. But I wouldn't have known to if you guys hadn't told me. And this is every now and then one of those rare moments where you learn something from an NC Picker video. You cannot sell an automatic knife on eBay. And the reason for that is it's illegal in some states to own an automatic knife. Now, not in my state. In Florida, you're allowed to have one. In North Carolina, my old state, you're allowed to have one. And Texas, the state where this person who bought it lived, you're also allowed to have them. I bought it in Tennessee, also legal there. So all my ownership and stuff has been legal of this knife. Um, and even this, the transaction would have been perfectly legal as well. I'm assuming eBay just bans the sale because it's hard for them to monitor where it's being shipped and they don't want to break the law by accident. All that to say, you guys saved my butt, saved me from an eBay suspension, so I, I really appreciate it. Thank you for that. And, you know, for you guys out there who don't know, if it's an automatic knife, it can't be sold. Now, this isn't an automatic knife, right? This is a bench made. You have to actually, like, you know, push it or open it with your hand. So there is a difference. You see, this does not pop open when I press it. So this is not an auto. Now I know. I did sell another knife today, and it is also not a knife. Another one, or what are the words? Not an auto. So I sold uh, Die Hard, <laughs> thanks Kevin. Brand new sealed VHS, I think I paid a dollar for it at a estate sale, sold that for $10.80, so not bad. Is this a knife I sold? No, I sold a ZT knife. This is a, uh, a ZT, uh, what's it called? Zero Tolerance is what that stands for. Ken Onion Design, which I've had a lot of success with Ken Onion Design branded stuff. 350, this knife is really quite nice. Sold in about a day, or what, when did I list? I list, listed at the 127 on Saturday, or Thursday. Today is, uh oh, my computer's being loud. I hate it when it does that. Wednesday, so it took six days for this knife to sell. Eh, maybe five. Anyways, I sold this knife for $116.99. So that's pretty good. My buy is fully paid off now, and I'm in the profit. Uh, I wonder if I can make this thing stop making all this noise. Aha, uh -huh, I think I did it. <laughs> 
But yeah, I have a lot more energy. Yesterday, I was like so incredibly tired when I recorded. I'm sure some of you could tell that I was basically just uh, barely even walking. <laughs> I ended up taking another nap yesterday and just relaxing. And I had taken the day off of work, thankfully. I'm glad I did. Uh, I predicted I'd be exhausted. But yeah, so I sold this Sensi. This is a uh, remember and stop to stop and chase the fireflies Sensi. Yeah, this goes in the bottom. You put your little light bulb and then it melts the wax on the top. This one's actually kind of dirty. I think it was dirty when I listed it too. But I probably should have cleaned it. Bad eBay seller, as always. Sold that for $17.99 plus shipping. Oh, and it went to Crossville, Tennessee. What are the chances of that? That's pretty bizarre, actually. I will say this. It was kind of hard to do the day job today. Um, after that time off, after running around having fun, you know, doing the reselling life, all that stuff, which is really enjoyable. But I did pull through. I had, oh man, like 280 emails and hundreds of Slack messages that I had to catch up on. It was, it was a long day. By the end of today, the workday today, I had a headache. I was exhausted. Um, and that's why I was just kind of doing nothing in the house. And then I was like, oh wait, I've got to do an order, an order pull video. And it is crazy how much sold? I Okay, so I have this new theory. I sold these Under Armour shoes. They're green. They're in really nice condition. I think I paid like three bucks for them. At a, uh, actually, no, I paid five at the flea market. Sold them for $28.99 plus shipping. So I've, I've got this new operating theory that, you know, everyone always says the eBay algorithm is all about listing, 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 right? And I think that's true. It is all about listing, but I think it also has something to do with shipping. Because I went off vacation mode on my store on Saturday because I knew if I got any orders on Saturday, I'd be able to ship them in time, basically, right? So I wasn't that concerned about it. So I'm like, okay, vacation mode is going to go away Saturday. And, you know, my, my sales were like dead, right? No, nothing was selling. No one was buying anything. And I was like, well, I'll turn off my vacation mode and then I'll actually get some orders, right? Well, sure enough, I did that and it didn't really increase my orders at all. Then yesterday I go and I ship a bunch of orders. I ship the 12 orders that had been sitting there for like a week. And now overnight I sell 15 things. So to me, it seems like there was some correlation between starting shipping again, showing that like my store is not completely been forgotten. Seems to have woken up my eBay store. That's an interesting thing, which makes me wonder if you do daily shipping, right? And you do like, uh, no day handling or one day handling where you're going to ship every day. You might have higher sell through because you're active all the time. You're always shipping every day, even without listing. It'd be an interesting thing to test, but I don't really have time to do same day shipping right now or even next day shipping. I sold Hulk, uh, 12 inch Hulk action figure for $8.99 plus shipping. But yeah, I, uh, we did our trash to cash thing and today we uploaded the first of the episodes of our podcast that we recorded while at Crossville. And I think it's kind of cool because I was in control of video, the sound, all that stuff. And because of that, it all sounds exactly the same. It, you know, the, the look kind of matches. It's me, Kevin, the Commonwealth Ficker, and Carrie, American Arbitrage, all sitting out on the back porch of our Airbnb together and just talking about our first day at the event, things like that. So I think it's a pretty cool one. If you do watch the podcast, you'll probably like that. Uh, link is probably down below. I don't know. Trash to cast on YouTube. Also sold Batman. Batman sold for $8. Speaking of that, I sold something yesterday to a viewer and I did pull it and pick it, but for some reason I didn't see it when I was pulling my normal orders. It was the movie A-Team, the movie, which I've never seen. Speaking of that, did you see they cast Jim Halpert as, uh, the, what this, what is he, the stretchy guy in Fantastic Four? I'm ruining all comic book fans' lives right now. Four stretchy guy. Googling it. Reed Richard apparently is going to be played by Jim Halpert from The Office, which is John Krasinski, if you don't know who I'm talking about. Anyways, I just thought that was an interesting choice. Or was that fake? Was that real? Like a real thing that I saw? I saw it. I wasn't sure if it was true. It looked real. Maybe it's just Photoshop. I'm going to look it up. Maybe it's fake. It might be a rumor, guys. It might have been a fake trailer. See, like, this is the image I saw, right? But that might just be photoshopped. This is, like, me debunking random internet myths I find. And I just believe because I'm too trusting. Oh, now my computer just turned off. Sweet. One second. Um, here's my other knives I got in Crossville. I gotta find a place to put them. I marked them Highway 127 sale, but I don't actually have anywhere to put them. I need to, like, relabel them. What is happening to my computer right now? We're supposed to go out to ice cream in a little bit. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna use my phone because I don't have time to, uh, I'm just gonna use my phone because I can't seem to get this working for some reason. Okay, 
So on my phone, we got the knife pulled, Sensi, the shoes, the Batman, the Hulk. Okay, FL32, we sold some. I don't have my mic right now either, because yesterday I was so tired. After I pulled my orders, I just like dropped everything and went inside. And after I shipped them, I mean. And at that point, I forgot to uh, turn off my mics. So they're all dead. And that's okay. I did videos like this for a very long time, and everyone was okay with it. All right, we're going to go up high and try not to hit our head. Okay, got it. Pretty sure this is what we're looking for. It's the Skylander thing. How oh, weird. Amazon just opened. That's kind of bizarre. Oh, and I also... Okay, so this is what's sold. Skylanders. Um, Superchargers. Racing. It's also got a character with it. This one with the little drill thingy. So that all sold. How much did I get for that? For... $9.99 plus shipping, so not very good, but it was all profit because I already sold everything in that buy. Oh, that was the other thing. So when I'm in Crossville, Tennessee, I do a video, like a vlog style video on this channel. And while I'm on here, I'm talking about my reseller Genie. So my reseller Genie gave me like this link, this affiliate link, right? Where, you know, it's, it's twofold. One, I earn some money if you use it. Two, you get a discount if you use it. So I don't... My Reseller Genie is basically like GoDaddy bookkeeping, which I never use, to be fair. I never use that, but I was listening to Pure Hustle Podcast the other day, and they were talking about how much they miss GoDaddy bookkeeping, because it was a really good way to track your expenses and your profit and all that stuff for tax time. Um, and so My Reseller Genie is supposedly the answer for that, right? If you were using that and you no longer have it, you can use this new thing now. I have no idea. I've never tried it, but they did give me a link, and you can get a discount on trying it. Uh, so I'll put that link below if you want to try it. So figured I would let you know because a couple of people were asking for the link in my last video, and I never put it down below. Of course, I said, "Hey, click my link down below," and I never actually did it. So I'll actually maybe do it this time. 50/50 shot. I know my coupon code is NC Picker though, so you probably could just use that. Star Wars Polis Masan sold. Is that right? That doesn't look right. I didn't see anything else in there, though. Oh, that's not right. Let me go back and look again. All right, here's the actual item. It is Revenge of the Sith Neomodian Warrior that's sold. And that's sold for $7.96 plus shipping. Got all this footage, right, of the yard sales in Crossville. Like, so much footage. Uh, but I just, it's going to take forever to edit. So I'm a little overwhelmed by it. But I got to do it because I'm going to Amsterdam soon and FlipCon and all that other stuff. So I got to get it done. I'm being repetitive. I know I just talked about that. FL4 we sold something, which should be like... Right here, FL4. But yeah, we're supposed to go get ice cream tonight at the, out at the beach. It's the kids' last day of summer break. Um, they're not very excited about summer break ending, but that is the case. So we thought it would be kind of fun to take them out to ice cream at the beach. You know, as like a goodbye to summer. Although summer was so hot, they mostly stayed inside. So I'm kind of looking forward to summer ending and getting some... Uh, Cooler weather, so we can actually go outside a little bit more. Uh, let's see if we can find this. Looking for an audio book that sold. I want to say this. I don't like the DMV. I'm dealing with all types of issues with registering my car down here. Um, and the DMV is making it more difficult than it should need to be. Oh, this is just a cassette. Okay. Maybe this isn't an audio book. I don't know what this is. I don't know why I thought it was an audio book. Till Tuesday... Uh, Voices Carry Cassette. It's not an audiobook, it's a cassette. Uh, but yeah, now that I think about it, I've got to ship all this stuff tonight, too. And I've got to go do that, so that's going to be fun. Uh, Voices Carry sold for $4.49, so it wasn't very good. I think I had it listed for 5 and I did an offer for 10% off. I took my son last night to... It was like, it was supposed to be an orientation for his high school. It's his first year at high school. And he's not really looking forward to it. But I took him to the orientation, and there was no one there to tell us what to do. And I embarrassed him like four times. But the way I embarrassed him was asking for help. Apparently, you're not supposed to do that as a dad. I don't know. <laughs> eh, you never know. You're always embarrassing your kids when, you're, when you've got them. If you have kids, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Just constantly embarrassing him. You know, it wasn't like that when he was younger. Now that he's a teenager, everything I do is embarrassing. I just said embarrassing like 30 times. Charlotte's Web sold on DVD for $4.99 plus shipping. I hope he likes it. 
I do hope he likes it. He's like, kind of, uh, what's the word? He keeps to himself. And so he's never really had a ton of close friends at school. He just kind of goes to school and goes home. Which may be better, because honestly, the kids at high school when I was a kid were kind of bad influences. So, <laughs> hopefully you can make some friends. Ah, uh, man, I really need to clean out my garage. I can't even get to bins anymore. It's kind of ridiculous. Like, the balancing act involved in this. Is this what's sold? I think I found it. Ooh, don't fall, Dave. You know, I tried ordering a, uh, a GoPro Max, which is like a camera that's got 360. So you can see in front of you and behind you at the same time. Thought it'd be kind of cool to try a yard sale like that, but it's not gonna work out. It's like way too hard of a workflow. Battery dies super fast, all that stuff. Just cause PS2 sold for 12 bucks plus shipping. A lot of people did uh, comment on yesterday's video where asked if you would obey the demands of the eBay buyer. A lot of you said you would not. You would just cancel because it's not worth all that extra work. One person said that he's been selling DVDs for 20 years, only been putting them in a bubble mailer and never had a single issue. Um, whether or not that's an exaggeration, I don't know, but I know I've had almost no issues in 10 years, so I don't know. It seemed like a ridiculous request. I sold this. This is a Southeast chapter. I don't even know what it is. It's some sort of time zone clock thingy. It's called a multi-city -time, multi time reader, brass with black face, south, southeast chapter, ASPCA. Comes apart like that. Sold for 10 bucks plus shipping. So in regards to whether or not I obeyed the customer, I didn't. I was too tired yesterday. I just, I was, I was not one to be trifled with yesterday and I was a bad eBayer and I just put it in a bubble mailer and sent it. Because to be honest, it's probably a drop shipper and it's probably going right to the customer and the buyer's, you know, never gonna know. <laughs> Go ahead and hit the thumbs down for the baddie. I know I just triggered like 10 people, but hey, I'm honest on this channel and I just didn't have the energy to do it yesterday. I was too tired. And knowing that it'll arrive safely, knowing it'll probably not go to the buyer, but to a drop ship, uh, I just wasn't that worried about it. I might get a negative feedback maybe, but as long as the item arrives in a safe condition, I feel like I could talk to eBay and be like, yeah, the thing arrived in good condition, which I'm sure it will. And the person gave me bad feedback because I didn't obey their demands. And yeah, so we'll see how it goes. Follow this, subscribe guys, so you can see me talk about how, oh, I really should have done the thing they asked me to in a few weeks. All right, I sold Vintage 50 Year Collector Life Magazine, Fall 1986. Uh, sold that for $5.99 plus shipping. And that was priority mail shipping too. Uh, you can't ship that media mail because that's ads enough. I sold this Pony Express bolt buckle for $5.99 plus shipping. Sold this Care Bear. This was in that plush mystery box I bought. Sold it for 10 bucks. Uh, still not ahead on that plush buy. Not even close, but yeah, I didn't think I would be. Everyone's talking about how the IRS is hiring like 87,000 new people, so that's fun. Uh, hopefully they won't be doing more audits, but they probably will. I think I'd pass an audit. I think I was pretty good with all my expenses and stuff. And this year is gonna be even better because I have like the bookkeeper that's helping me track everything perfectly. So, should be even better this year. So, but hey, you know what? That brings back the original topic, my reseller genie. Link down below, hopefully, if I remember, um, so that you can make sure your books are in order. So, all these orders in one day, $365.94, 15 total items, 13 total orders. Mm. Six or something? Yeah. Say hi, Granny. Hi. Say hi, Callie. Hi. And we come back, for match, we come back like that. Oh, it's high tide, kind of. Grandma, 